Hi, happy Sabbath. We're in the car again. <laughs> Always in the car. Um, just finished preaching in Netherfield. You did a very good job, didn't you? It was, a, I didn't preach, obviously. Um, so yeah, just on the way back now. And we have Pathfinders this afternoon. And for those of you that don't know what Pathfinders is, it's like a Scouts, um, it's like a Scouts for church kids, isn't it? Yeah. Christian version of Scouts, that's what it is. Christian version of Scouts. So yeah, so, Robert did a sermon today on creation and how when we come to Christ it's like we're being recreated. Have I got that right? Yeah. Good. I would have said the sermon was more on conversion. Okay, conversion. And then using Creation Week as, a, as an, an example. example of how we are recreated. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Just little details. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good message. Um, every time we go to Netherfield Church, it's either we've double booked or what am I trying to say? Like last time we came, <laughs> he wasn't meant to be preaching that day. No, it was a week early, wasn't it? Oh yeah, he was one week early to preach, and then That's this funny. week someone else was meant to be preaching, and no, I was supposed to be preaching. Oh, he turned up thinking it was him. Yeah. <laughs> So he was meant to be preaching, but someone else showed up thinking they were preaching. Yeah, confusing. I think we need to speak to Mr. Sam about that. Like, what is going on with your church? <laughs> People don't know when they're speaking. But yeah, it was really good. I was saying to Tiana and Rob that we should do a review on a film we recently watched. Um, I basically made them watch this film that I've wanted to watch for ages. You basically and made us do everything you want to do. <laughs> you, you mean that in the most loving way? Of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically the film was um, Miracles from Heaven and I've wanted to watch it for ages. So watched it last night. I cried all the way through it basically and they were sat there laughing at me. <laughs> like it's not that serious. It's a true story. And it's about um, this family. I don't know if I've zoomed in on that or not. Let's, yeah. Don't give too many spoilers. Okay, Tiana's just told me not to give too many spoilers. So I'm gonna- okay, Spoiler number one. Stop it, stop, stop, stop. about stop. miracles from heaven. <laughs> okay, so it's about miracles from heaven and it's based on a true story. And it's about uh, the Beam family. Have I got that right? Hi. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, Chan, do you want to say a bit about the film? Uh, not really, because I don't say anything. Okay, Chan doesn't want to spoil it, so she doesn't want to say anything, but um, really good film. Like hopefully when it comes out in the UK, everyone can go out and see it. It's by Devon Franklin. He's a Seventh Day Adventist guy as well, and he's started his own company. So he's like put out his first film. Absolutely loved it. Like it, it was so touching. Like even though I cried through it, I was like so emotional watching it. Um, Try not to cry in front of these two because they just thought it was hilarious. Like just looking at me like you're so strange. But yeah, it was just amazing showing you how God works again, like through people and I don't know how to explain it without giving too much away, but it's about a young girl that gets terminally ill and her mum and her family are trying to find um, a cure. They're a Christian family, so the mum kind of loses her faith during this time as well. Um, I think I might leave it on that. At that. Miracles from Heaven review, but not speaking too much about it because you spoil it, like if you know too much. See, I'd, des I'd describe it as two hours of my life I'd never get back. That was uncalled for. Yeah. That, there was no need for that, was there? No, there wasn't. I'm, I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> you cut it out anyway. 
Um, I thought you was actually going to say something really good. What did you think of the film? The doctor was funny. The doctor in the film was funny? Is that your favourite thing? What about the message? Yeah, it was a good film. Yeah. Why not? It wasn't bad. It's not as bad as some that I've seen. Yeah, I feel like Christian movies now are getting more better because, like, back in the day, the, how bad were they? Too cliche. As in too cliche. Now it's. What's the matter, Jenna? What kind of sense is that make more better? What films? No, why is it more better? They are better. Yeah, but. No. Okay, they weren't what that you good. Say is, no, you can't say more and better at the same time. It's not correct terminology. Because it's already better. Yeah. Okay, back in the day I feel like they were too cheesy. Whereas now, when you watch them, you can see, yes, yeah, like I can see how that works and how God works because we've experienced it in our lives, correct? Correct. Yeah. Um. So yeah, really good film. And do you know when a film just stays on your mind all day, like because well all night as well. We had like a little mini discussion and a prayer session last night after it, didn't we? Yep. After we watched it, it was just so powerful. Um, but yeah. So we're off to Pathfinders, like I said before. And I thought we'll just do like a quick little review in one take, one shot, real life. <laughs> None of this editing stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. You guys sound so bored. As soon as the camera goes off. You sound so bored. Tiana is like... Are you videoing? Yeah, I've been videoing that whole time. Are you all going to see me? There you do. Say hi. Hello. She's been really tired in church today, haven't you? Trying to sleep and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to um, go to bed an hour early. No. Yeah. I can sleep in the car and then I won't be sleeping anymore. So good night. <laughs> Bye.